I'm Ted from Virginia. I cast my first vote for president in 1972 at College for Richard Nixon. Incidentally, a mail-in ballot. Until 2016, I was a proud Republican, but even then, held out hope that Trump wouldn't be as bad as he turned out to be. I don't have to go back to Abe Lincoln to support my pride as a Republican. By the way, Donald, you are probably the last person in America to learn that Lincoln was a Republican. I was born during the administration of Dwight Eisenhower, one of the greatest Americans of the 20th century. I was proud of a party that supported the Civil Rights Act of 1964 that led our nation's struggle against communism. A party of Ronald Reagan, of George H.W. Bush, who as a teenager flew torpedo bombers during World War II, of John McCain and of Mitt Romney, one of the most decent men in politics. And what has become of that political party that was once a beacon of freedom around the world? It is now led by the likes of Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, Kevin McCarthy, Mitch McConnell, and Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, are you kidding me? What is worse is that all Republicans now running for down-ballot posts feel they have to emulate this rogues gallery, therefore dooming the GOP for at least a generation. I want to tell my fellow Republicans that the time has come for us to reclaim the ideals that have served us so well for so long. To do that, we first have to rid ourselves of these scoundrels that are turning our country into a laughing stock at best and an autocracy at worst. Joe Biden is far from perfect, but he is a decent, caring, intelligent leader who will put our country back on a path we can all be proud of. He will get my vote.